Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show, well I'm going to do a little micro project and that's just going to be how to create this little big world and um, it's just a sphere with a load of trees distributed on it and I'm going to uh, go through how to paint where you want the trees to appear and how to distribute them on a mesh obviously and then I'm going to go through IDs and then um, uh, pivot points as well. So just three little things just to, yeah, just a little project that will show you a few handy tips so let's just open our starting point and here's our planet which is empty and then underneath that we have our three different trees so i'm just going to select the three trees and i'm going to create a mesh network so we have three objects selected so we get three uh, points in our mesh network um what we want to do is distribute over a mesh so uh, if we just um zoom out to see our planet. Uh, even though this looks low poly, I've, I've added extra divisions into it and that's because I want to paint um, I want to paint vertex colors uh, quite accurately so that I can uh, choose where my trees get placed. So um, yes, if I just open this group, we've got this land object here. So if I go to the mesh distribute, uh, mesh distribute node and uh, roll down the mesh settings here and I drag the land model into the input mesh here. Uh, that uh, automatically shoves us into mesh distribution mode and uh, we can uh, distribute objects on our mesh. So we can scatter uh, the objects over the uh, surface area or we can have them um, get added to uh, random vertexes or vertexes in order, uh, same face centers or random face centers um, or on edges, random edges. And um, yeah, so let's choose random face center and um, then let's... Uh, what should we do? Um, we will. We've got three things to solve. We've got only one type of tree visible. Uh, secondly, um, this tree that is visible is kind of sticking halfway through the ground, uh, so its pivot point is wrong. And thirdly, we've got objects in the drink, so we've got trees in the in the water, and we don't want them there. So we will use um, vertex colors. We'll paint vertex colors to say where we want the trees putting. So. Um, let's uh, let's first of all get um, the different trees uh, to appear. So we'll just add an ID node to the ID channel, which automatically gets us our three different tree types. Because when you add an ID node, it goes and looks at the repro node or the instancer and and queries how many objects there are on there. And there are three, so it's automatically set our ID ID count to three. Now, if you add extra objects to the repro or the instancer, this number won't update. It only happens when you add the node. So uh, you will you may need to adjust this number if you have more three objects say because you've added some later so we can randomize the IDs if you want to change the random seed whatever get a kind of distribution that you like and then um, second thing we'll fix is this tree that's sticking halfway through the ground so that's tree two so I'm going to hide it then I'm going to press control one so that we uh, isolate select it and then I'm going to show the grid which will show that the tree is not at the world center so the way that you do pivot points in mash is that you pretend the world origin is the as in the world center here pretend that's the pivot point and then move the mesh accordingly so let's move this mesh to uh, world zero and uh, let's say that um, we want it to be uh, so here so if the world origin is our pivot point let's pretend that um, we position our mesh accordingly so uh, we want the pivot point to be at the bottom of the tree so the bottom of the tree is sitting at the world center and then what we do is we group the mesh when we select the group you see that the uh, group is automatically added at the world center and then if we just call this tree to pivot like that um, what we do is we select the repro node and then we swap our two, uh, our tree two for tree two pivot by dragging one over the other, which will just swap those two objects. And then we can hide our tree two pivot group and then we can press control one to turn isolate select off. And then when we zoom out, our tree is sitting on the surface of the planet, which is what we want. Now the only thing to solve is the objects that are sitting in the water. And so what we'll do is we'll select our um, our land here and then we'll go um, vertex normal edit tool. Nope, that's not what we want at all. <laughs> Don't know why I said that. Um, we want to use the paint vertex color tool. And then we're going to flood the mesh black, which is going to say don't uh, put trees anywhere. And then we're going to uh, change the color to white. And then we're going to start painting um, our white objects. So this um, looks like it's uh, behaving itself and is painting objects on as we um, as we uh, draw. So this doesn't always happen. And what you might have to do when you um, 
when you are uh, after you finish painting white if nothing's actually changed you just need to grab a vertex on the mesh and um, you need to grab a vertex on the mesh and uh, give it a wiggle like as in move it slightly and that'll just force the mesh to update and then just press and do to undo that change and that will give you the uh, that will give you the change that will um, and that will give you the, the that will update everything and and uh, the your painted versus colors will take effect so um, yeah a bit of a bug there just something to be aware of um, yeah anyway I'm just gonna paint through all of this probably could have used a bigger brush <laughs> So I'm done painting and now I'm just going to select the mesh and go toggle display mesh attribute and then because um, we've hidden some of our objects because we've painted lots of black uh, what I can do is just on the distribute node I'm just going to up the number of um, up the number of points and there you go uh, so um, there is our our kind of our little big world and um, yeah how you paint where you want things to appear on a mesh and then how you work with pivot points and how you change the ID and all that kind of thing. So yeah, um, hope you found that useful.